<laughs> oh yeah, there's something. Crab, got a crab. Like nearly seven inches across. This guy's a big rock crab. Oh, he's trying to dig his claws into me. Wow. That's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Absolutely amazing, isn't it? Look at these crab. This guy's a feisty one too. Hear that? That's California coast, baby. That's where we're headed. Let's go. We made it. So we're along the coast again, and today we're actually gonna go for Dungeness Crab. That's the whole reason why I'm here. If you guys have seen my last video or are familiar with how we crab here on the West Coast, we use mainly snares if you're from shore, and that you have a bait cage that's full of something stinky, some squid, whatever bait and these crab will be attracted to that and then you have loops or snares on the end of those and sometimes those crabs will get stuck in those loops and you reel that crab in so that's mainly how we do it here on the west coast but i'm super excited i know that this environment doesn't really look like a good dungeness crab spot right it's super rocky they prefer more muddy substrates places with eel grass and places that are sandy but I think that I'm gonna surprise you guys and show you guys that there are gonna be Dungeness crab around here and they can be caught near these rocky environments if you could find patches of sandy areas. Today I'm actually gonna be using a different camera. I'm gonna be trying out this Insta360 1R Twin Edition and this is their action camera. This is the 4K lens that comes with it. So I've been having a lot of issues with my GoPro. Audio cuts out sometimes, and when I'm charging the GoPro because I need to run it constantly, um, it turns off automatically. So Insta360 sent me this camera, and I'm super excited to use it. I love it because it's so modular. Let me show you guys. So right here, like I said, is their 4K lens. I could remove the battery, on the bottom right here, there's a clip that comes apart. What I also love about this camera is that it's modular and that you could actually remove that battery pack and remove these two parts and you can switch the screen around if you want the screen to be facing you where the lens is. And this is actually called the Twin Edition because it comes with another lens. It comes with the 360 lens. And so you could remove that and then you could actually attach a 360 lens on here if you wanted to and so now it acts as a 360 camera and an action camera so i'm going to try using this it's pretty cool it has 360 capability you could shoot in 4k 50 frames frames per second you could shoot in 3k if you want 100 frames per second if you wanted that slow motion effect but it's already waterproof up to three meters so it's about 15 feet just dunk this into the water if i wanted to and it's waterproof already so it's pretty cool I'm gonna test it out today and hopefully uh, get some good footage. Let me know what you guys think about this. The Insta360 1R Twin Edition. I'm gonna try to get out right there so I can cast out. I just need to cast out and get past these waves. And I'm gonna see if I can time it right. There are some big waves that come through, but some small ones after a bit. And you're able to get out. That's uh, super wet right there, you can tell. But if I'm able to get on top right here, cool. It's not too bad. The wave's gonna, big wave, that big wave's gonna come and it's gonna pass me right here, I hope. There we go, passes me right here. And I'm able to cast out right here. This is my crab snare. 
Oh. oh yeah, let's get that all the way out there. That's past the first breaker a lot. And I know all around me, it looks really rocky, right? And you would not think that there's gonna be Dungeness crab here, but look at the water. I don't know if you can tell, but look at the water. It's brown right here. You know what that means? There's a lot of sand that's actually washing up right here. And I know it's sandy right around here. So it's a good sign. Dungeness crab like to be in sandy environments, environments that have a lot of eelgrass. And uh, this might work. You'll be surprised. Even if it's a rocky coastline like this, you will be surprised. All right, you see this substrate right here? This is what's under the ocean. A bunch of rocks around me, right? But this is all sand. This is super sandy. So I know deeper out there, that's exactly how it's gonna look out there. So that's why I'm here. You can find little patches of sandy areas that could very well hold Dungeness crab. All right, been about seven minutes. Let's see if there's a dungy baby. Wow, the current pulled it massively to the left. Oh yeah, there's something. Crab, got a crab. Oh yeah, it feels good. That feels good. We got a Dungeness, guys. I think, hopefully not a rock crab. That feels good. Wow. Let's see. That's a Dungeness. That's a Dungeness. Oh, it's a big one. Oh wait, no. Big rock crab? It's big rock crab. Dang. That's a huge rock crab. That's a huge red rock crab. It's full of barnacles. But that's a nice red rock crab right here. Wow. That is big. Look at that. Look at that. All right, take this back to shore, measure this guy. It's definitely legal, 100%. Wow. All right, I had one snare on his claw here and then another snare right here on his legs. Let's just get him out these snares real fast. This guy is huge. Look at all these barnacles growing on him too. You know what that means? It means that this guy has not molted his shell in a while. And so it must mean that it's packed full of meat. You now I press on its legs. Oh yeah, this thing is rock hard. Look at that, freaking huge. Legal for, for a rock crab is four inches across here in California. Look at this guy. This guy is bigger than six and a quarter. Is bigger than the measuring stick, which is seven inches. It's probably nearly seven inches across. That's, that's a huge rock crab. This guy, this guy is a big rock crab. Oh, he's trying to dig his claws into me. Wow, all right. We got one crab still on the hunt for Dungeness. If I catch some Dungeness, I'm gonna let this guy go. Ooh, let's put this guy in our cooler, let him chill out. Check this out. Down under the water, we have a strong current, but you can see the bottom is mainly sandy with a lot of eelgrass floating by. And soon, we see a Dungeness crab attracted to my snare. Now watch, a big rock crab comes out of nowhere and starts investigating the camera. And you're gonna be able to see its legs first and then its claw around the camera. The Dungeness crab in the back is still munching away 
at bay. And this big rock crab does this for a while. It checks out the camera and even picks it up. And this is where another crab approaches the snare and the Dungeness is able to pull a piece of squid out and basically just says, I'm out of here. And the rock crab, for whatever reason, continues to try to get at the camera. No crab was snared on this pool. one let's see what it is still haven't seen color yet man rock crab all right we're, we're gonna release her into just this tide pool here there's water right there I'm gonna let her just walk over there if she wants to Oftentimes you can find these crab, these rock crab here up in these tide pools at low tide. There, it's gone. Since I was only catching rock crab from this spot, I decided to move and find the Dungeness. Let's climb over this rock. I want to fish on top of it. Just so I can get out a little farther. See which way is the best. I know you can get up on the left side, but maybe I could take a little shortcut right here. Uh, this looks doable. There we go, that wasn't too bad. And we have this entire ocean. Let's do it. So check out this rock that I'm on, right? It's pretty cool. You see how, how the tide's pretty high and this allows me to just be up here and cast farther out. That's what I'm doing. playing right there wow that's so cool they are all playing I love it when we get to witness spectacles like this just nature being nature wow that bird is eating bunch of bugs and I'm gonna catch a crab right in front of you all right first pull from up here on these this new cliff crab come closer to shore when they want to mate so they're trying to get it on let's see if uh, we get anything here that's one got one hopefully it's dungeness we'll see feels kind of small though but it's a crab. It's not that small. It's pretty big, actually. Yep, looks like a Dungeness, though. Looks like a, I don't know if it's a keeper. 
but uh, let's get them up here. There we go, a Dungeness crab. Male, barely snared. But hey, like I said, they're in the area. Hey, I'm on a rock cliff, and you can see there's still Dungeness crab around. If you could find a patchy, sandy patchy spot. This one's a male. This one's not legal, I'm pretty sure. But it's pretty cool, they're here. They are here. Not legal, but you can see it's close, but no cigar. So this one's gonna go back, but uh, they're out there. That's a good sign, that's a good sign. So the whole reason why I want a Dungeness Crab today is to cook up something, my favorite meal. I wanna show you guys how to cook up some fried crab with some chili and garlic. And that's one of my favorite, favorite ways to cook Dungeness Crab. It's better with Dungeness Crab versus rock crab. So I'd like to catch Dungeness Crab and show you guys how easy it is. All right, let's throw this guy back. Got one. Oh, it looks, it feels like a keeper. It's a rock crab? Oh, it's another rock crab. Ah, and it's female. It's a big, it's a big female. It is a big female. Whoa, feisty one too. Let me just get this off of her. Oh man, that was close. He is feisty. She is feisty. There we go. That's a big female. Gotta let her go though. She is a big girl. Now we're after rock crab. So put this one down and I'm gonna release her down into the tide pool soon. Whoa, 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 whoa. But let's recast these and then, and then let's release them into the tide pool. I'm gonna put this crab right in here. See what it does. And she's gone. Hey Siri, set timer for seven minutes. You can see here that almost immediately the drop gets noticed by a perch and it actually pecks at the camera. Then out of nowhere, we see a bunch of Dungeness crab legs walk all over the camera. And I don't know what it is about the camera. Maybe it's giving off some sort of electrical field that these fish and crab and whatever else living things down in the ocean can easily detect. I know that some sharks, hammerheads, for example, and rays, they have the ability to detect electrical impulses. So maybe these crab and these fish are doing the same thing and they detect the camera as something living. Here you're actually gonna see that the Dungeness crab, along with the rock crab, head straight to the snare. And these two big crab look like they're about to face off. And the snare even attracts these perch. At this point, there's two perch around Two crab, one Dungeness, and one rock crab. Let's see what we got.
Oh, that feels good. That feels like a crab on there. Let's wait till this wave passes. All right, three, two. That's a crab. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's see. That's a crab. That's a nice crab. Let's see on this cliff, baby. Ah, it's rock crab. It's not really what I want. Decent red rock crab. Took all my bait. Not what I want though. Another rock crab. Oh, oh. Look at that. Look at that, he's, he's ready to fight. Let's just uh, take these, snared them by one claw. It's not, it's not a bad one, it's a pretty good one. It's a, it's a male. I think I'm gonna release this one though. I don't want any rock crab. So here we go. Actually, I'll let this one go in the tide pool in a bit. Since I know where that rock crab was, I'm gonna try to cast out to a slightly different spot. on here. Yeah, I got a small rock crab. Oh, it's a female. It's a female, pretty sure. Saw her abdomen from far. One claw, got her by one claw. Man, where are the Dungeness at? I know they're here, caught one earlier. Here's a smaller female rock crab. This one's probably not, probably just about legal that we can keep in California, but you know, I don't like keeping females anyway. Oh man, whoa, look at this, that's nuts. So something bit it. Something took a chunk out of it, and you could see its gills or something. Zoom in right there, look at that, it's moving. You could basically see right inside the crab. Poor lady, it probably, it looks like a fresh wound. It hasn't even healed all the way, but you could see something pumping in, in there. It's kind of their gill system where they exchange oxygen um, from the water, but I'm gonna, release this one they'll be fine out the water for a little bit but this one's already hurt i'm gonna release it in a tide pool No more rock crab. Dungeness crab now. Come on. Yep, that's one. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. And they keep taking all my bait. I just released the other ones. That's a good one. Oh yeah, that's a great one. That's gotta be a big Dungeness, come on. Come on, tell me it's a Dungeness. Wow, that's a good one. Oh, it's a big rock crab. Oh, where are the Dungeness at? Gone one Dungeness today, come on, man. No, they're there. Big claws. 
Big pause. Okay, there's one. That's a nice one. Hopefully it's a Dungeness. I know I keep saying that. It's on top of the water. Oh, that looks like it might be a Dungeness. That looks like, can't tell right now. Oh yeah, that's a Dungeness art. No, I can't tell. Oh yeah, it's a Dungeness. Small one. It's got him by his claw. Please don't come off. Got him by both claws. Uh. Oh, there's another Dungeness. Got him by both claws this time. Look at that. Just touches. Whew. Worked hard for this guy. Not as big as I want it to be, but it's a keeper nonetheless. So. Let's go ahead and uh, put this guy in the cooler. And he steps up to the plate. It's already past one o'clock. I'm getting kind of hungry. I feel like I should cook up that crab soon, but First, let's see if we can catch another one. That's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Look at that. Wow. That's a heavy one. That's a good one. That is a good one. Oh, it's another Dungeness. Is it? Is it another Dungeness? That looks like a Dungeness to me. That looks like, oh, it's, I got two of them. I got two of them on here. Two dun Dungeness. Barely real. Do I got two keepers on here? Two Dungeness. Oh, two jumbos, two keepers, two keepers, two keeper males. Oh, buddy. Oh. oh, they're biting now. They are biting now. All right, since I got two keeper males, I'm gonna release the, the other one, the smaller one. Oh, buddy, look at this. Look at this. I snared both of them, one by the claw, one by the legs. Oh, they're biting now. I knew it was a big one. I thought it was one big one. I got two of them. Here we go. Oh. Oh, I'm happy. Oh, I'm happy. Been waiting all day for these guys. 100% oh, legal. 100% legal. Let's show the camera. Let's see it. Within the horns, you could see it touches. It touches. There's one. And let's get this guy. They all have their claws too. Awesome. 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 That's another one about the same size. Perfect. These guys are perfect. Oh, that's the spot all the way out there. Another legal one. This one's more than six inches. All right, I'm gonna toss a smaller one back uh, just cause 
it was it was really close. I don't like keeping things that are super close to legal, any sort of thing that I'm harvesting. Oh, buddy. Oh yeah. Oh man, makes me want to reload. Oh, this, I think they're out there right now. They, I just probably passed a big school of them. I want to throw my camera out there again, but I don't think I could cast as far with the camera. And I think I need to cast right at that spot. Oh man, that was a, that was a heavy one. I, I could barely reel up that cliff. That was awesome. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. This, this food is about to be so good. So good, guys. I'm super happy to share this with you guys. My favorite way to cook Dungeness crap. Let's uh, reload this and get that back out there. Play these guys. These are boat keepers. They're about the same size, basically. Six plus inches. And then look at this one. This one's smaller one compared to this guy. This one's still legal, but look how much bigger this guy is. This guy's barely legal. I'm gonna release the smaller one. Go ahead, we're gonna go release this guy. Gotta climb back down. If you guys do decide to do stuff like this, be careful. You can only do things you guys are comfortable with. Wrong way. It looks so cool in the water. It's trying to find a crevice to hide near. See ya. Good luck out there. You know, the one thing I really, really don't like is when I come to a gorgeous spot like this and there's trash. Obviously, the people that know about this fishing spot, you know, they come here and fish here, but like, don't leave it like this. I'm looking for a place where I could set up my cooking stuff and I want a little corner looking around and you know you can see basically tons of trash here when I come out here I carry I'm carrying so much stuff right now I have a walk in my backpack a walk and so my bags at least 40 pounds and so I try to minimize the things that I carry but if I see something like this I just can't I you know you have to clean it up so please guys Respect the environment, respect the place that provides food for you, the planet. So clean up after your trash, man. Come on, that's that's really not cool. So do that. Check this out. Got a bunch of cooking stuff in my bag. Got a whole friggin' walk in here, baby. You guys ready? You guys ready for some crab? Cooked in a walk? Let's go. First thing we're gonna do is prepare this crab. So I am going down there and I'm going to dispatch this guy and clean this guy. This is a six plus inch crab right here. I'm going to pull the bowl in my armpit. I'm going to put the crab meat in here afterwards. This looks like the perfect place to prepare this crab, don't you think? I'll put this bowl right here. Nice male Dungeness crab here. One thing that I showed you guys I like to do is stick a knife or some sharp object through them or right through here and it pretty much immediately kills them. So that's what I did. I just stuck a knife through him and it's pretty much gone. Now what I'm gonna do is grab all of its limbs, peel the carapace open. Just like that. Fresh crab, fresh as you could get. And this, you could leave, you could throw this away, or some people actually like eating this stuff. I know my dad does. But from here, you just basically remove the mandibles, the dead man's fingers, their gills. Take off the apron. And then I'm gonna crack this guy in half. I'm gonna rinse it out right here in the water. A little bit of salt 
saltiness to it. And that's basically it. This is a fresh, delicious Dungeness crab right here. It's a pretty big one too. All right, first things first, let's put this range over here. Somewhere in a corner, no wind. Start up the fire and let's get this wok nice and toasty. Let's go ahead and warm up this oil. Because we're going to be frying some crab today. How's that sound? The oil is getting hot. I'm just going to tear off these limbs. Look at that great meat. Wow, I can't wait. This is going to be so good. Look at how chunky that is. I don't have a knife, so I'm just using my hands here. That gorgeous meat. I'm just going to tear this in half. All right, now we're going to do, I'm going to just throw some corn flour in here and mix everything. Super easy, you don't even need egg or anything. There it is, y'all. Just a bunch of corn flour. Just mix it in well. Make sure all the pieces are covered. I think that oil is about ready. And I think this crab is about ready to get tossed in. Here we go. Let's test it. Let's test it real fast. Oh yeah, that's ready. I'm gonna do this for about two minutes. Look at that. Oh yeah, it's so much. And you wanna move them often so they don't stick together. We're actually gonna double fry these guys. That smells so good. It's my absolute favorite way of cooking crab. All right, so it's been about two minutes. Let me turn this off. And we're actually gonna take these guys out right now. And we're gonna double fry these. It helps it give it a, a crunchier texture, crispier, and it helps it be taste and feel a little less greasy. So let's go ahead and double fry this guy again. Is it ready? Yep. Look at that. Look at this amazing meat. You guys should just smell that. All right, so I cleaned out the wok and I put a little bit more oil in here now, and it's heating up on about medium heat. And what I've prepackaged here is a little bit of chili. This is uh, some jalapeno here, depending on how spicy you like your crab. I have some diced up garlic. I diced up the other day, so I don't have to do it out here. And then we're just gonna throw these both in there. Just like that. Get the flavor in there. Oh yeah, that smells really good. The jalapeno smells so good. And you just want this to go for a little bit. Basically, if you get the flavors in the oil, and then go ahead and toss your crab in there. And mix, and that's gonna get all those flavors on the crab. Oh man. I'm gonna have some sea salt here with some peppercorn. Oh man, that's gonna be so good. 
probably don't need too much because the crab I bet is going to be already a little salty because I did wash it in salt water and it's so fresh, super fresh. Oh, this smells amazing. It smells amazing. I know it's going to taste amazing. This is my favorite way of eating Dungeness crab. I think that's about ready. And, and that is it guys. That is it. I just threw some green onions on top. And I'm ready to eat. Oh man, I'm blessed. Truly, truly blessed. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and check this crab snare one last time. Let's see. Let's see if there's anything. That's one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. That's one. This was my last cast. It's a nice one. It might be a keeper dungeness. It might be. No, it looks like a rock crab. Well, actually, it's a, nope. It's another nice, oh, it's a big dungeness. Oh, a huge Dungeness. Okay. It's a huge Dungeness. Look at this. Another one. Another one. Baby. That's another nice one. Look at this guy. Wow. Wow, it makes me want to cast out again, but I want to enjoy my food. Wow, absolutely amazing, isn't it? Look at these crab. This guy's a feisty one too. Let's see, Got my measuring stick right here. Right across, oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah, that's easy, right here. Another keeper, another keeper, and it's feisty, and it's feisty. I know, he probably came in Probably came in and saw saw that. And it's like, probably came in and saw that. It was like, I'm not having it. Amazing. Let's eat. How about this big old claw piece? Oh, it's still hot. Hot, hot, hot. But man. Mmm. That crispy flour makes it, wow, that is so good. My favorite, oh yeah. That crispy outside makes it taste like a, reminds me of a chicken wing. But man, when you get on the inside, let me try to break this open. When you get on the inside and get that sweet Dungeness crab, like the outside is just salty, Literally tastes like a chicken wing. Got a little bit of spice from the jalapenos and a little bit of garlic. I mean, this recipe is just so incredibly simple. It is my absolute favorite way to eat Dungeness crab. No cracker here, so I gotta use my teeth. But when that perfect piece of meat pops out, man, it is gorgeous and delicious. Sweet, sweet, delicious crab. If you guys have never tried fried crab, oh, oh, it's a game changer. Game changer, guys. So good. Oh my goodness. Woo. So generally, these crab will go and spawn deeper in the water but they come close to shore to try to mate and their mating and spawning seasons are generally early spring to late summer and so that is exactly why our dungeness crab season for fishermen start towards november because you wait for these crabs to mate go out and spawn and then you could catch them 
so you give them that opportunity to reproduce. It might be more productive at a sandy beach, but I really like the seclusion of being on the rocks. It's just, I love it. It's my kind of adventure. Hear those waves crashing in the background? Big waves. Gorgeous day today. Mm. Absolutely amazing. Now let's try a big leg piece, huh? I didn't want to do this with rock crab because they have much harder shells. And for me, I'm obviously using my teeth to break the shells right now. I'll probably break my teeth on those rock crab. And their legs, they don't have as much leg meat as Dungeness crab. Man, oh man, this is a blessing to be out here and be able to do this. This part, this part. So that part, this part where it's so crunchy and it coated the meat too. Oh, 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 that part is amazing. That part is amazing. Bro, bro. Oh, man, if you guys enjoyed this, let me know in the comments. Let me know what, what else you guys wanna see. I'll try to make it happen. I definitely enjoyed it out here. It's absolutely beautiful. Caught some nice crab. Delicious ones too. And prepared it. My favorite way of eating crab. It's peaceful out here. I saw one other fisherman all day. Just sound of the waves, baby. I could do this all day. Hope you guys really get to try this recipe because I'm telling you guys, it's amazing, it's worth it. And it's so easy, so easy that I could just come out here and do this on the rocks. Salt and pepper, chili garlic, double fried crab, boom. Catch you guys on the next one, peace out.